This lamb and aubergine stew is packed full of spices and flavours, so watch this. This dish has got all the flavours of a lamb tagine, but it's much quicker to prepare. Okay, we've got some aubergine, which we're going to cook off in some spices, a tomato sauce and some chickpeas, and then served with grilled lamb chops and a prune couscous. Sounds very healthy. All ready in about 20, 25 minutes, so nice and easy. Start with our aubergine. Now this is massive, and we want about the same volume as chickpeas, so we probably only really need that much. So if you can dice that up nice and small. So I've got a shot of oil in the pan, and I'm going to put in our aubergine to start to fry off. And at this stage, season it well with salt and pepper. Right at the start there. The next thing to go in is our spices. So we'll talk about those. We've got three spices. Sort of stereotypical of the tagine. We've got turmeric, great for colour, some paprika and some cinnamon. So these spices can go in. Okay. We also need to add some tomato puree. Bloop. There we go. To that, we're going to add tomato sauce. Now this is either any leftover tomato sauce you've got. We've got recipes on our website that combine several uses of leftover tomato sauce. Or you can just buy it as passata in a store with added garlic and herbs, and that's all it is. Cool. This is very spicy. Spiced, but right. not spicy. It's not hot. No, but, but it's, yeah, you're right. It's, it's loads of very flavors. aromatic. Chickpeas, just drained. They're going to go in there. And because there's no sort of lamb neck or lamb shoulder in there that needs to cook for a long time, that'll be ready in about 15 minutes. Just got to bubble away gently and add lots of flavour. So just leave it. The only thing we want to add, just so it doesn't stick, is a splash of water which will evaporate off as it cooks, so you end up with the same consistency, and a tiny little bit of lamb stock cube. Okay, you don't have to add that. Veg stock cube would keep it vegetarian, but we're gonna serve it with some lamb chops, which is our next stage. It's definitely not vegetarian. If you can season those up, melt a shot of oil into a frying pan. Beautiful. And then they can go down into our oil, and they want about three or four minutes on each side to crisp up nicely. So as I said, this is a really quick meal, so the final thing we need to do is our couscous salad. That has two things, prunes and red onion. Okay, so if you can take the prunes, just cut those into sort of maybe thirds, just to make yeah. them a bit smaller. And I'm going to take a red onion and dice it up nice and fine. You can turn these over now, and you've got that nice golden colour on one side. And we can put all of our couscous ingredients into a bowl. So add the prunes, diced onion, a generous squeeze of lemon juice, and then just warm up the bowl slightly by putting it on top of there. Add in a cup of couscous, so yep. see where it line goes up to. We're looking at volume of water, okay? So the cup goes in there, and then an equal volume of boiling water straight out the kettle. Like top. So if you can give that a good stir up, just make sure all the couscous grains are submerged. That's pretty much all we're going to do. So let the couscous absorb all of that stock. That'll take two or three minutes. I'll stew underneath the chickpea and aubergine. That bubbles away. Lamb nearly done. And then we'll push it to one side and just let it rest. And then within five minutes, we can have the whole thing served up. There we go. Light, fluffy couscous with those prunes, which are beautifully sweet to compare with the lamb. And fantastically chopped, Mike. And plenty of our aubergine and chickpea stew on the other side. And then finally, some lamb. So two of these beautiful lamb chops. Oh yeah. Had plenty of time to rest. Yeah boy. Got a nice golden colour but slightly pink in the middle. Finish it with fresh parsley. And that is Cheats Lamb Stew Sorted. That is delicious. I will cook that this week. I will actually cook that this week. It's just delicious. When I'm browsing sortedfood.com, this is one that I will stop on. And all the other lamb dishes we have there. Not just lamb. Don't restrict me to lamb. I want to make everything. So much to choose from.